This is like an old flame that just like showed up at my door and is like, hey, I want to talk. This is Mark's ex? Yeah, this is my ex. It's just like, remember me? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> we are here at Mickey's. It is a greasy spoon type diner place where we're going to get some breakfast. When we asked people where we should go in Madison, every single person said Mickey's. Yeah. And we got to figure out what the deal is. Is Mickey's as good as everyone says? Is this some hyped up thing or is it going to hold up? We do what we're told. We were told to come to Mickey's. Let's go to Mickey's. Let's eat some food. We're, we're here. We did it. Mickey's Dairy Bar. And we have ordered breakfast. Yeah. Which felt, I don't know. I, I felt, I got nervous. It was very overwhelming. Uh, we ended up going with the Scrambler, which I think is the what they're known for. I see they have a t-shirt that says something about the Scrambler, which tells me. It actually, not just, it doesn't say something. It has the definition of the Scrambler. Yeah. The Scrambler sounds like they take everything in the back of the kitchen and throw it on a plate and then serve it to you. So we got the blueberry coffee cake? Blueberry coffee cake. I think cake, I blacked I out while yeah. we were ordering. I was yeah. so nervous. That was such a rush. Mark, are blueberry things here? Oh, let's go. So my question to you, Mark, is do you eat this with a fork or a spoon? Coffee cake? <laughs> who, who eats it with a spoon? You eat it with a spoon? No, but I had a fork and a spoon here and I panicked. But look, it looks like spoonable. <laughs> what? You had the crumb? Is that an insane question? Yeah, that's insane. Are right, we diving in? Okay, I'm using You go first. You know what? I'm using the spoon. Use the spoon. You go first. That corner piece. Look at oh my oh, god! It's it's hot. Oh my god! I'm gonna eat all this before a scrambler comes. Oh my god! Oh wow! Yo! Yo! That's like the greatest thing I've ever had in my entire life. I'm not kidding. Mark, I don't know if you know this, but I used to work for a food magazine, and there's so many ways to describe food. I was like, gonna say. Like in the biz. I have no idea how to describe. Food. Okay, ready? Here, this is so. Take a bite. Okay. Perfect blended textures. The moist cake got the pop from the berries. You've got the slight crunch with the crumble. There's a little tang, maybe a sour cream situation. Like real, real depth of flavor to it. My review is it's just good. I don't know what I'm tasting really. There's blueberries in there. All right, so let's talk vibes of Mickey's Dairy Bar. Uh, yeah. What What are we thinking about the interior, the place, the vibe, the clientele, all of it? Let's just give people a, a, a vibe check of this place. I give the vibes like a 12 out of 10. It's everything I want in a diner. It's like yeah. got the old font. It's got the menus that, even if they were made yesterday, are probably the same thing that was made like 50,000 years ago. I could use like 20% more just random stuff thrown on the walls. Like we need, like we got some cool Wisconsin that. Badger stuff over there. The vibes are amazing. The, the, the old school menus. Love the vibes. Great the vibes. One thing I do take slight issue with is under sandwiches, they have hot dog. Mm. Which is a debate I thought we put to rest mm. in 2017 and Mickey's is testing. Mickey's is ready to have this debate again. Yeah. It's yeah. not a sandwich, but also who cares? You know, like, I think that's where I'm at with the hot dog sandwich debate. It's like, call it whatever you want. It's still the perfect food. All right, should we get a hot dog? We should, but also I just saw the scrambler coming and... When I lived in the Midwest and I was a much, much heavier man <laughs> and I would eat stuff like this regularly. Would you? And I'd put that chapter of my life behind me, Charlotte. It's back. I'm it sorry. resurfaced. This is like a this is like an old flame that just like showed up at my door and is like, hey, I want to talk. <laughs> this is Mark's ex. Yeah, this is my ex. It's just like, remember me? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> okay, wait. That is so good. All right. Mmm. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. Alright, do you want me to describe this in food terms? Yeah, please describe because okay. again I just say this is very So what's so great about this is first of all, I mean Mickey's is textured down, right? Like Mickey's invented texture. So you've got like the soft eggs, you've got the bite from the sausage, you've got the perfect crispiness but soft inside of the potatoes. The bacon adds a little crunch. The gravy is like you know, Thanksgiving dinner uh -huh. mixed with truly the greatest breakfast you've ever had, which comes together in this 
symphony of flavors, I think is safe to say. Mm-hmm. Or just eat Keep talking, talking. talking. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Mark, where are we going next? Uh, we are not done yet. We are going to State Street Brats up next. All right, next stop, State Street Brats. Time for some brats. Mark, how are you feeling? I don't feel great, if I'm being completely honest. Mickey's, the, the scrambler did a number on me, but when in Rome, you know, we are in Wisconsin. Uh, we are at a brat place that, I got to say, this building, this whole situation of State Street Brats, it feels like this was here before the college. It feels like State Street Brats started and existed, and then they were like, we should build a college around it. So who cares how I feel, Charlotte? We have to eat brats. Let's we have to do it. Brats. Let's brats go. Time. All right, we got our brats. Uh, we also ran into a special guest, senior safety for the Wisconsin Badgers, Colin Wilder. Are you guys related? Yeah, I think we're long lost cousins. Might be. We got to check the family tree. Yeah, somewhere there's a record, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you are our Wisconsin guy leading us to our brats. Can can we see what we got here? Yeah, yeah. We got the uh, famous brats. Well, actually, this is the cheese curds. Ooh, everybody talks cheese about curds. cheese curds in Wisconsin. Oh, they are hot and greasy, folks. We got the famous... Uh, oh, did you eat one already? State Street Brats. Oh, hell yeah. Don't want to say oh, my God. Bite. This is... Okay. <laughs> it's so good. Cheese curds are really good. I think it's the simplicity of the cheese curds. It's... What do you do here? You take cheese and you fry it. That's it. The snap of that? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Nice and charred. I mean, this oh. is Wisconsin food. Our cholesterol might be skyrocketing, but so are our spirits. What are you most excited about opening weekend? Opening weekend, having the fans back. You know, 85,000 plus. All right, Conwell, hopefully we'll run into you again Absolutely. before the game. Yeah. Good luck out there. No, we'll you. be Great cheering for you. Y'all. Yeah. That does it for the food portion of the tour. Uh, thank you to Mickey's Dairy Bar. Thank you to State Street Brats. Charlotte, your thoughts on the food? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like everyone talks about meat and cheese, and you're like, okay, meat and cheese, and then you eat it, and it's like elevated meat and cheese. It's like it's like heavenly meat. Before we go, you want to do a you want to do the pose here? How do we? The Bucky. Well, the wait. Bucky. Is it right? Chest up. I think it's right forward. Look, Bucky. Very proud Badger. Oh. Oh, okay, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.